coming to the end of the third quarter. LeBron James, a shot in history. And it is! LeBron stands alone! Experiencing torrential rain on my way to the airport was pretty apropos. Honestly, I wasn't in the best headspace in the lead up to this trip. Freelance work has been slow the last couple months and at times I felt pretty lost on this new path I'm trying to walk by myself. But when your friend invites you to come to LA for a special occasion, a spontaneous and irresponsible part of you wins and you say yes. I don't know what it is about a change of scenery, but it usually does wonders for me. We were walking around this industrial area of Santa Monica and Although it wasn't that interesting, it didn't matter because it was different than my everyday surroundings. So by nature, I wanted to take everything in. Speaking of taking everything in, this plane ride was something else. It was a complete stroke of luck on my part and I felt almost undeserving of getting to be on that flight. Our mind plays weird tricks on us when we feel like we're somewhere we don't belong. Regardless, I found myself unable to stop smiling throughout the whole experience. We went directly from flying to crawling through the infamous LA rush hour traffic. A small price to pay because we were off to the second surreal experience of the day, and the basis for this entire trip. LeBron James was on the precipice of making basketball history, and we were either going to witness it tonight or at the next game. Admittedly, I'm not the biggest basketball fan, but I am a sports fan. I love the stories of humanity. LeBron is so beloved, but it goes way beyond his skills with the basketball. His mom was only 16 when he was born. His dad wanted nothing to do with him and wasn't around. LeBron grew up in the inner city of Akron, Ohio, bouncing around from home to home during his childhood. And seeing someone achieve greatness against all those odds, what's not to love? More importantly, the inspiration of seeing someone chasing and achieving their dreams is a story as old as time. The crowd was absolutely buzzing all night and went into an absolute frenzy when this happened. The next day, I met up with a fellow creator and we bonded over having dreams we weren't sure yet how to achieve. Afterwards, she was nice enough to drop me off here at Griffith's Observatory. Back to the dreams thing. Being in Hollywood, it's only natural to quote Walt Disney. He once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. I partially agree with him, but I believe courage alone isn't enough. The willingness to be brave isn't enough to achieve our dreams, no. Achieving dreams requires a ton of hard work, grit determination, sheer will, and usually a bit of luck. The egoist doesn't believe in luck. The imposter thinks they're lucky. The one who just watches believes it's all luck. Being in a city filled with dreamers, I think I could see every facet of chasing a dream reflected in the people living there. The ones who had accomplished, the ones struggling, and the ones who had given up entirely. With our one free evening, we went for Korean barbecue and it was definitely the highlight meal of the trip. Now, I'm not sure if it had something to do with the 20,000 steps it took earlier that day, but the walk around the Grove and the ice cream for dessert also hit the spot. So who knows? My final day in LA was the only day I tried to plan out a little bit. I got a burger from this spot, walked around the Venice Canals, grabbed coffee from Intelligentsia, walked to Abikini, and stopped at the Venice Skate Park. With the basketball record now broken, we also went to see a second LeBron-less game. When I think about it, nothing materially changed during this trip. I returned home and I still had no clients, no leads, and no idea if this all will work out in the end. But I came back with a better frame of mind. Honestly, I think it was good to just get out of my own head for a few days, enjoy some sunshine, and have a mental reset. Sometimes, it's all you need. be in my vlog yeah let's do well, sure and you know okay. me i love vlogs go ahead and vlog all right what's up guys <laughs>
Uh, we're here at In-N-Out. We got uh, two double doubles, animal style fries with onions, even though our guy Richard, the guy that works here, Richard, recommended no onions. We need to get our vegetables in. Have not had enough nutrients today, so this is really gonna help. We were starving post Lakers game. Shout out to LeBron, our guy. LBJ the king. Lizzie. <laughs>